Hello everyone. Welcome to another Tuesday Tech Tip at 45 Drives. Uh, Brett Kelly here. Um, it's been a while, a couple weeks. Feels like I haven't been in this room in a while, uh, but I'm back. It's my turn. I get to finally do another Tech Tip. Um, just want to say thanks to all my co-workers, Ashley, Mitch, Spencer, everyone else who's been throwing ideas into the mix, but uh, I'm back. You couldn't keep me away. Now, um, so what am I talking about today? I am going to talk about Houston Ceph file sharing. Wow, you've never heard those words out of my mouth before. No, but you might remember about a month ago, something like that. I forget, time goes fast here. Uh, I think we did a video called like how Navigator and file sharing and Ceph are all a nice little combination, which was a cool video and still very true. However, we've done a lot of work since then. I want to show you some one of the things we've been working on. And when we took what was kind of a multi-click through a couple dashboards into one really nice thing. And I want to show you guys how easy it is now to set quotas, pool layouts on your Ceph file system when creating Samba shares. So why don't you join me at the screen? I'll show you something that's uh, gonna be coming out pretty soon. All right, so uh, let's join me here at our all too familiar Houston screen. We're at our overview. And what we're gonna talk about today is file sharing. So we have done some work to um, kind of make the combination of this module and, Ceph, uh, and CephFS file sharing that much easier. Um, we have built in the ability to set quotas and as well as pool layouts. And remember when I say pool layouts, CephFS has a very unique ability of using multiple different pools underneath. What that means is you could have an SSD pool, you could have an erasure coded pool that's really efficient but really slow, uh, and any kind of mix of that in between. My point is, is maybe you have one big Ceph cluster and you wanna make uh, shares for like kind of a frozen slow, I just drop backups there, no one ever goes to it, and maybe you have some SSDs in your cluster and you wanna really fast here. So, before, if you wanted to do that, you'd have to, well, jump to the command line, do all that fun stuff. So without um, going into the gross details of running set fatter commands, and I still don't quite remember the syntax of those, so how do you solve a problem like that? You put it in the UI. So this is gonna be a quick little sh show. I was gonna say recap, but it's not a recap. This is gonna be a quick little know, demonstration. So I'm gonna make a new share. What a great name. And the description is, Show off, CephFS, um, features, compatibilities. I don't know what I'm trying to do there. It doesn't need a description right now. So you go mount CephFS, because that's where our file systems and our file systems mounted. And as you can see, uh, the quota field and the layout field shows up. So uh, let's just say we'll call it the same as new share. So I need, um, I want a terabyte. And I want this thing on my SSD pool. So this dynamically reads what's added to your CephFS. So if you add a new pool and everything, so it's uh, a quick, easy way. You don't have to remember which pool is which. It'll tell you which ones you have. As long as you name your pools based on, uh, I don't know, their function, it's really easy to see. Uh, as you can see, I've been screwing around with a couple different test names. But uh, I want to set it up with SS uh, on the SSD pool. So I give it a valid group, and I'm just going to hit Add Share. So I'll spin for a minute and we'll get our new share. So that's it. It's really that easy. So let me just show you what that means though. So if I click over to Navigator and I click on this new share, you can see that the layout pool is indeed CephFS data SSD. So if we were to put uh, uh, data from our window share into this chair, look, I'm repeating words a lot, um, it'll all end up on the SSDs of your Ceph cluster. So isn't that convenient? Um, and then same, here's our max bytes. That's the one terabyte limit we put on. So no really new functionality, as in we could have always done this with a 45 drive Ceph cluster plus Houston setup. It's just way easier now in one clean screen. All right, so uh, let's wrap this thing up like a burrito or in proper East Coast terms, let's wrap this thing up like a donair. Um, no, that was a bad joke, sorry guys. Uh, but that's it, that's the cockpit file sharing. That's kind of another illustration of as, as ideas come to us, as, as people feedback and say, it'd be easier if you could do this. We listen, we make code changes, and we're all public about it on GitHub. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you find that interesting, useful, all those fun buzzwords, and uh, we'll catch you at another time. I'd say next week, but you might not see me. 
might be someone else.